This is a pelvis mobility and stability exercise while holding a hinge position. So this is really gonna challenge um, your hip stability. So we are gonna be working through both internal rotation and external rotation of the hip and pelvis. So this variation, you have your back heel on the wall for reference. So your toes are on the floor, your back heel is on the wall, your front foot is flat. Um, you can kind of think about pulling back on the floor through your front foot to engage the hamstrings a little bit more. And then you're gonna very slightly keep a slight bend in that front knee and hinge your, um, your hips straight back. So almost like you were sending your butt back towards the wall slightly. Then you're gonna hold here. I like to have my arms down because the reaching can really help facilitate that pelvis uh, movement. So once you're in this position, then you are gonna think about almost like you're bringing this opposite knee down and across towards the foot. And it's not a big movement. And I like to then reach my opposite hand towards my toes. At this point, you're kind of feeling a lengthening in this outer glute on the um, front leg. Then you're gonna drive your weight through that entire front foot. So think big toe, pinky toe, and heel all stay in contact with the floor. You're really driving through that entire foot. And then you're pushing and your pelvis and hip is rotating in the opposite direction. So then you're feeling this glute work because it's pushing you over into kind of opening up your pelvis to this side. So then keep doing that front hamstring drag, inhale down. Exhale, inhale, exhale. So it's not a big movement, but you should really feel this outer hip and glute on fire if you're doing this correctly. So we think to recap, pull back to that front heel a little bit, get those hamstrings on board, send your butt back. So keep a slight bend in this front knee. So you're keeping that hinge position the whole time. Got my opposite heel against the wall to help kind of ground me. And then I'm inhaling down as I'm reaching, exhaling, driving through that entire foot, rotating my pelvis to the opposite side. And you should, again, really feel that glute and hip on that front leg really working for stability. And then you would do the other side. So this should not cause pain. It's gonna be hard. Um, a way you could progress this is by adding a band above the knee and keep some tension on the band throughout as you go through that movement. So that's a way to make it a little bit harder if you need to, but this should be hard to start with and then you can progress from there.